Today we're going to be sharing how to recover a lampshade with fabric. I didn't love how the gray lampshade went with the brass base, so I decided to change it. I started by removing all the trim so that I had a flat surface to work with. The next step is to trace your pattern. So I started with a bunch of craft paper, rolled it out, and then you're just going to start tracing your lampshade onto the craft paper. So I started the seam and then I rolled it along and traced to the seam. Um, so you're going to trace the top and the bottom of the lamp along the same line. I found it easier to put your hand on the top of the shade and hold it down rather than what I was doing the first part with my hand inside. It was kind of wobbly. So once you've traced the top and bottom, you can connect those two lines just with a ruler. Then you'll want to measure out from the top and bottom about a half an inch all the way around and kind of sketch that line. And then on one of the short straight sides, you'll add about an inch. This is going to make for extra fabric so that you can wrap these around um, the top and bottom of the shade and then also fold over to create a clean seam on the side of it. And once you're done with that, you can cut it out and then I just rolled my shade onto it to make sure it was a right fit. Then you'll take your pattern, place it on your new desired fabric, trace it right onto there and then cut that shape out. Once your fabric is cut out and ironed flat, you're gonna work on gluing it to your shade. So I recommend a spray adhesive. I think that they work a little bit better, but I didn't have any on hand, so I did use Elmer's glue mixed with some water. So I started right along the seam, and I put some of the glue uh, mixture on there and let it get a little tacky, and then I started um, pressing my fabric right along that seam. So then you'll just work your way around the whole shade. You're gonna use your glue or your spray either way. And once you get to the edge, you're gonna fold over that final part to make a little seam where you won't be able to see the frayed edges of your fabric. So you fold that over, let it dry, and then you'll glue it to your shade. Then you'll start working on folding over the top and bottom edges. So I find this part is easiest with a hot glue gun. So I fold about a quarter of an inch of the fabric over onto the fabric and glue it in place. And then you'll glue right inside the shade and you'll fold all of the fabric up in there to finish it off. Repeat this with the top as well and then your shade will be all done. 